you've probably heard the term heat dome tossed around, especially during the sizzling summers we've had lately. But what exactly is a heat dome? And why are meteorologists watching them so closely? Let me explain. A heat dome happens when a powerful ridge of high pressure parks itself over a region and refuses to budge. Picture the atmosphere pressing down like a giant lid. Air sinks, it compresses, it heats up, and that lid traps the hot air near the surface with nowhere to go. The result? Temperatures that climb day after day with little relief, even at night. Think of it like this. Put a pot of water on the stove. Now, slap a lid on it. It boils faster, right? Same idea in the atmosphere. The lid, or dome, locks in the heat and the temperatures spike. And the impacts? They can be deadly. In fact, heat is the deadliest of all weather conditions in Canada. Canada's most tragic example? The 2021 Western Canada Heat Dome. It centered over BC and Alberta and set over 100 all-time temperature records, with some communities seeing highs 20 degrees Celsius above normal. The event contributed to over 600 deaths in BC alone, most of them vulnerable people, including the elderly and those with chronic health issues. The town of Lytton infamously burned to the ground after reaching the highest temperature ever recorded in Canada the day before. 49.6 degrees Celsius. And it's not just about the heat. Heat domes can dry out landscapes, which can increase wildfire risk, strain the power grid as demand for AC surges, trap wildfire smoke and pollutants near the surface, making air quality worse. So why are heat domes getting more attention? Research suggests that while data on heat domes specifically is still emerging, heat waves overall are getting more frequent and intense in a warming world. Heat domes are one of the players in that trend. Dangerous heat is not just a southern U.S. problem, and Canadians should be prepared. 